Hezbollah is, is, is in the uh, Lebanese government. He, Hezbollah ministers were in his government. That Hezbollah is part of Lebanon's politics. Mm -hmm. Now, he had Le Hezbollah ministers in his government. What has changed ever since? What is the new element over there? Aside from wanting to create a situation, aside from wanting to create a backlash, and this is an encouragement, basically, for Israel to enter into Lebanon and embark upon a war against Hezbollah. And there's a lot of talk about that. And he is behind the story. You know, you're looking at a situation whereby this is not good for Hezbollah. Hezbollah was delighted in the fact that they could maintain stability in the country. Hezbollah I was delighted that they could organize a functioning government with a Sunni prime minister who was a pro-Saudi individual. This is not good for Iran. It's not good for Hezbollah. It's good for the Saudi rhetoric that is trying to wreak havoc in the area. It is good for them by finger pointing at Iran and blaming everything on Iran. Sa Salman al Ansari, do you wish that Saad Hariri had not made that announcement from Riyadh? Actually, it's very important to respond to a point that your honorable guest has mentioned. He avoided saying that Hezbollah is linked to Iran, even though Hassan Nasrallah disagrees with him. And he said publicly, and it's on YouTube, that Hassan Nasrallah gets all the support from the radical Iranian regime. I don't know if he wants to be more of a Hezbollah sympathizer more than Hassan Nasrallah. That's, a, that's, that's interesting. When it comes to Saad al-Hariri, he came to Saudi Arabia because there was a plot to assassinate him. There were, there were some intelligence reports that have been released by the countries in uh, uh, the region that talked about Saad Hariri was in a, the verge to, had, to have a, 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 a plot against him personally by the Hezbollah militant group, which is a very despicable militant group that cannot be trusted, which is an Iranian agent in Lebanon. And let's, uh, there is a French proverb that you all know. Um, Il n'y a pas de vérité moyenne. There are no half-truths. The only truth about Hezbollah is that it's an Iranian agent that wants to disturb and destroy the Arab world through this militant ideology that does not want no good for the country around it and for the whole world, specifically uh, in Europe and in the United States and everywhere. And we all know how Hezbollah is in the sanctioned list of the United Nations and the U.S. Treasury Department and the U.S. Uh, uh, government. So but my, qu my question was, Salman, my question was, are you sorry that he made that statement from Saudi soil as opposed to uh, from his home country? Actually, if it's going to be for his safety, I would say, no, it's good that he made it in Saudi or any other place other than Lebanon, as long as Hezbollah is still controlling uh, uh, the country in, in, in Lebanon. This is not something to be acceptable. And I'm pretty sure that there is a regional and global consensus and agreement to combat all the Iranian-backed militias and their advocates and their promoters and the people who support them, even by words.